Hello logical people this is Venkatesh. In this video I am going to present you an interesting logical puzzle which is frequently asked in job interview. Puzzle states that at a party everyone shook hands with everybody else. There were 66 handshakes how many people were at the party. This is one of the most frequently asked interview puzzles. Feel free to pause the video and give a try before checking the solution. I will be back in 10 seconds. Let me explain the solution now. Let's suppose that there are n number of people in the party. The first person will shake hand with n minus 1 people. The second person will shake hand with n minus 2 people. The third person will shake hand with n minus 3 people. In this way, n minus 1th person, that is, last but one person, will shake hand with n minus n minus 1, which is equal to 1 person, that is, the last person. Now add all the number of handshakes, n minus 1 plus n minus 2 plus n minus 3 plus so on till 3 plus 2 plus 1. If you observe this particular series carefully, this is nothing but the sum of n natural numbers, but only difference is here the n is n minus 1. We know that the sum of natural numbers formula is obtained by using the arithmetic progression formula where the common difference between the preceding and succeeding numbers is 1. Natural numbers are also called counting numbers start from the number 1 until infinity such as 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 and so on. Sum of n natural numbers formula is represented like this n times n plus 1 over 2 where n is the last number. In this case, we know that n is n minus 1. Hence, formula becomes n minus 1 times n minus 1 plus 1 over 2. After simplification, formula becomes n times n minus 1 over 2. Also, we know that in the puzzle, the total handshakes given are 66. Hence, the equation becomes n times n minus 1 over 2, which is equal to 66. After simplification, it becomes n times n minus 1 equals 132. Further simplification results in n square minus n minus 132 which is equal to 0. This is nothing but the quadratic equation. After solving quadratic equation, we get n minus 12 or n plus 11 equals 0. Here, either n equals 12 or n equals minus 11. Since number of people can't be negative, n will be 12. Hence, there are 12 people in the party. By following these simple steps, we can solve this puzzle in less than 30 seconds. That's all for this video. Let me know for any questions. I will try to address as soon as possible. Thanks for watching. Let's meet in the next video with one more interesting puzzle. Thank you.